Hey everybody, it's Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. And this is Anton Noy. And we are here in Barcelona for MWC 2013, the Mobile World Congress. This year is starting in just a couple days. Our press events start tomorrow. So we're here to bring you just a few quick predictions, things we think we're going to see, things we hope are hoping to see. We're going to see uh, insofar as devices and announcements from the major companies. So let's have a look. So besides the expected flood of unremarkable Android tablets, our biggest and probably most headline-worthy prediction comes courtesy of rumors surrounding Nokia, which looks poised to unveil the device codenamed EOS. The smartphone might be the first to marry Windows Phone 8 with a real pure-view camera experience, something, to put it mildly, we'd most definitely like to see. If true, it stands to be the headlining announcement of the show. Secondly, there's Samsung's Note 8.0, the intermediate-sized tablet confirmed by a company executive last month. If that tablet comes to the market with the rumored specs, we'll see a 7-inch 1280x800 super clear LCD screen, Android 4.2, 2 gigs of RAM with 16 or 32 gigs of storage, and a micro SD slot, and of course, the S Pen. It's also rumored to measure in under 8mm thick and carry a 4600mAh battery. Aside from screen size, these specs aren't anything new, and the tablet continues the design language of the Galaxy S3 and the Note 2, but it's a product we think it might fill a specific niche, bringing the S Pen right between the 10 inches and the 5 inches. And back in the smartphone world, LG's Optimus G Pro has already seen a South Korea launch, but we're expecting LG to announce its global availability here at MWC, alongside the L3 II, L5 II, and the L7 II. The version of the Optimus G Pro we saw announced in South Korea is powered by a Snapdragon 600 running at 1.7 GHz, and it packs a 5.5-inch display, putting it decidedly in phablet territory. With its 400 ppi screen and solid hardware build, it already looks like a more promising contender than LG's previous phablet attempts, and we're excited to see what LG's global plans are for this device. And wrapping up the big predictions is the rumored, Intel-powered ASUS PhonePad, not to be confused with PadPhone. Despite rumors and speculations that this might be a Windows-powered device or a combo like the Pad Phone, we believe that it might have nothing to do with docking. Instead, we've heard it could very well be a 7-incher, raising the phablet's screen size bar even higher, packing the Intel Lexington chip and running Android 4.1. Whatever the case, we'll see it soon. Be sure and listen to this week's installment of the Pocket Now Weekly Podcast for more in-depth thoughts about these and other products, and join our Pocket Now Live broadcast tonight February 22nd at 9 p.m. Eastern to tell us what you're most excited about. So once again, just a quick look at some of our predictions. We hope some of those are going to come true, and uh, hopefully, yeah, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, some surprises in store as well. But we will. We'll, we'll compare this video with the predictions with what actually happened, so exactly we'll see where we were right or wrong. Yeah, we'll be back to wrap it up uh, after the show. So uh, stay tuned for a whole smorgasbord of videos that are going to land. I and, should have used a Spanish word. Maybe. And bloopers. And bloopers also <laughs> in the uh, in the coming um, hours and days and things Hopefully. like that. Yes. So stay tuned to Pocket Now. We'll see you then.